Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate adding products to your catalog from Supply Stream. To do that, go to Start, Catalog, Add Products from Library. And this is going to open up the standard Add Products from Library interface. And what you're looking at initially uh, is the Dtools library of products. But notice here along the ribbon there is a Supply Stream button. So go ahead and click that. This will display all of the Supply Stream data that is available for download. The major difference between supply stream data and data from the Dtools library are that you're going to be able to download products that have a cost associated with them from suppliers. So um, in order to start using this, uh, you need to register with supply stream. It's free to register. Um, if I go ahead and click this button here, a little window will open where you can then uh, click this button here to get started with supply stream. Um, clicking this is going to take you out to a web page. Uh, it looks like this where there'll be a video out here from Supply Stream demonstrating um, how to register and then of course click this button here and you'll be able to um, fill out all of your uh, information. You can choose your authorized suppliers, um, your favorite products and all that um, and get a key from them and then of course you're going to want to enter that key here to register through our software and again that video out on the website explains all of that. Prior to registering, you will not see this suppliers column here. So you've got to register in order to uh, fully utilize this data. Now, um, one th other difference between this data and uh, Dtools data is that uh, this data is not going to have any of the engineering fields, uh, as we call them, the inputs and outputs of the height, width, and depth. The uh, true advantage of these products out here are that you are able, again, to get cost directly from suppliers. But I'll go through some scenarios where you can see how you can uh, actually merge the data uh, between Supply Stream and what may already exist in your SI catalog. But before I do that, I'll give you a quick tour of this interface here. Um, so you can search by category over here on the left, uh, either by searching in this box or you can expand any um, category and then you'll see subcategories that are listed here. Um, and then, of course, you can search by manufacturer down here once you've started filtering, or you could start by searching for a manufacturer. You can also just search directly here uh, for products. Um, if you'd like to, you can see there's quite a lot of products out here to go through. Um, so filtering and searching um, are key for finding exactly what you want to download. You can also choose uh, to show authorized products only, uh, in stock products only, or uh, favorite products only up here along the ribbon. So first I'm going to demonstrate downloading a brand new product, one that is not in my catalog already. So I'm going to filter to equipment racks here. And um, as you choose your first filter, uh, I want you to notice up here that um, un under the search products, you'll see that you can then search within equipment racks only or whatever you filter to, which is really nice. It'll help narrow down your search. Uh, but I'm going to I'll nar narrow my search down this way by choosing a uh, manufacturer from this list and this is going to list uh, now in this case all of the Middle Atlantic products and we'll just go choose this one right here at the top. Uh, you'll notice that there's a new icon here that means it is new to your catalog. It doesn't already exist and uh, this is listing nine suppliers. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click this uh, suppliers button but you'll notice only one is showing not nine. Um, the reason for that is uh, it's pre-filtered here to only show your authorized suppliers. Those are the only suppliers you're going to be able to download from. Now, of course you can go change that out in your setup with supply stream at any time uh, but if you wanted to see all suppliers you certainly could just choose that radio button um, and in this case um, you can see that a lot of these other suppliers or all of them um, uh, this product is not in stock um, so it's not even listing a uh, supplier price which will come down to your unit cost field so we'll go ahead and just choose that there um, and then of course this is selected for download um, you'll notice that the vendor for this product it's listed here it's also listed down here and what that's going to do is automatically assign this vendor to that product when you download it um, it will also add this vendor to your vendor list out under people within the software uh, then of course you can edit that vendor at any point so uh, we'll just hit download here and you can see that this product is now downloading and it's um, now shows as matched because it is a part of your catalog now and if we go ahead and click that uh, it's going to open this product up for edit directly in your catalog and uh, if we come over here to the price tab you'll notice that uh, the MSRP uh, came down as well as the unit cost and now at this point of course you would set your unit price or you know type in a margin or markup or apply a price rule however you feel like pricing this item. Um, one thing to note here um, if you are using 
phase labor to charge for labor for products. Uh, Supply Stream doesn't have that data uh, from us, so you're going to need to choose a phase from your catalog here. In this case, uh, here's the default list of rough in trim, finish, or programming. Um, you say maybe that's a trim piece or a finish piece, whatever you would consider this, and then how many hours it takes to install this. Um, uh, to make this complete data, of course, after you price it. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and price it right now, uh, but we'll save and close that. And um, that is now a part of your database or your catalog. Now I'm going to demonstrate uh, downloading uh, a product um, to get the cost for an existing product that's already in your catalog. Um, and you're going to want to take advantage of this, the option settings here for that. So first let me find what I'm looking for. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick search for what I know. Uh, is in my local database here and uh, we filtered out here to these products and you can see this top one in the list is matched it's already in um, my catalog now uh, you may have noticed this or you may not have so I'm going to point this out that the supply stream data has a completely different list of categories and subcategories than you might be used to from the dtools library uh, of data uh, in this case you'll see this category is furniture and stands and then the subcategory is uncategorized furniture um, so you may not want to overwrite your existing uh, data within your uh, catalog in fact, let's go take a look at the existing product prior to downloading this. So we'll go back here to the main interface and we'll go to Catalog Manage Products. And I'm going to do a quick search here. Do Tria. There it is in the list. We'll double click this to open it. Uh, but you may have seen on the other screen there, our category is furniture and the subcategory is shelf. Um, we also have, uh, you know, short description here. Um, the supply stream data does come down with a short description, so you may or may not want to overwrite your short description either if you like this. Like, again, I prefer very short description, so this is absolutely very short. Um, we'll go ahead and save and close this for now. Let's go back to the download screen um, and take a look at these options. Uh, by default, everything is going to be checked here. Um, so in a case like this where you may not want to overwrite uh, some of those fields, you can of course uncheck. In this case, I don't want to change the categories. I don't want a new description. Uh, I'm just looking for price. In this case, there's MSRP and then um, there's also the unit cost that's going to come down if you choose to download from the supplier list, which is of course I'm going to do. Um, and I should point out though, if you do just click this download button, like not from a particular supplier, you're not going to get a cost field. You'll get the MSRP field here, as you saw, I'm assuming this is checked over here, but no cost. Those are supplier specific. So let's go ahead and click this option here. And uh, as you can see, um, again, from an authorized uh, supplier, it does have a uh, cost here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose to download that. And uh, now if we go ahead and take a look at this, this is going to open up in the product database. Notice the category, subcategory, and description were not overwritten. But if we come here to the price, you'll notice now that it does have a cost field that is filled in. Um, so very cool features here for updating existing items as well as downloading new products. Just keep in mind, you may want to um, toggle these options on and off depending on whether you're doing matched items or new items.